ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Marlowe GMT Knight. Uh, this is a new release from Marlowe Watch Company. Uh, they are based out of the United Kingdom, and I think it's a pretty cool release. It's a True Traveler's GMT, and it's a pretty unique design. It's uh, you know, a very useful watch for a traveler, obviously. And uh, let's get into it. Now in terms of pricing straight out of the box, you're looking at 750 US dollars. But there always is a little discount code sign up for their newsletter. You can save 10%. Uh, so that will save you some money on this watch. The watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel all around. Uh, with a mix of finite, uh, brushed and polished surfaces. As you can see, the bezel is brushed. And you get some nice polishing on those chamfers going around the lugs. Then these sides of the watch themselves are brushed. Uh, just very nice, very nicely finished, I must say. Marlowe always has very good quality. And uh, all their watches, I must say, I've reviewed three or four of them in the past. And uh, their quality was always top-notch. Um, but anyway, a uh, solid 316L stainless steel. This is the black dial. As you can see, you get that kind of grainy black dial, um, which looks pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, that anti-reflective coating already. Uh, this one does have a boxed sapphire crystal, which is actually really nice. Kind of gives it a bit of a vintage aesthetic, uh, which I do appreciate. Although it is quite a modern watch, but, you know, it takes slight... Vintage, you know, cues, I'd say. Um, but anyway, uh, the watch itself on the dial, we get your date at the 3. We get a 24-hour sub-dial on the chapter ring, 24-hour uh, GMT uh, bi-directional bezel, uh, which is very nice for a true GMT, of course. Very interesting use of hands. I like these kind of dagger-style hands. Very cool. You don't see them too much. And then you get a sweeping orange seconds hand. You get a candlelit GMT hand. Uh, all loomed as well. All these applied markers are loomed as well with BGW9 Blue. Uh, so the loom is actually pretty good on this one. I already did test it. Now some basic specifications. We're looking at 42.5 millimeters across, uh, which is a pretty decent size for a GMT. You want to be able to see the dial, see the watch. You want to read it quickly. Lug to lug from uh, my calipers, I got 47 millimeters. That's top to bottom, 47. In terms of case thickness, I got 13 millimeters, about 10.5 if you minus that box sapphire crystal. So think about 10.5, 11 millimeters. Uh, in terms of thickness, it's a very slim watch. It wears very nice on the wrist, 20 millimeters in between the lugs. Now, inside of this watch, you can guess, it is a true traveler's GMT. Um, so it's a bit different than something like the Seiko NH34, uh, which is not a true traveler's GMT, you can say. Uh, this one is using the Miyota 9075. That's uh, a true GMT movement as an independent second hand, which mo means you can independently move the um, hour hand, sorry, the hour hand uh, around the dial, which also, also will quick set the date. You can go backwards and forwards to change the date, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Now, in this model, you're getting 50 meters of water resistance, a pull and push crown. You also do get an exhibition case back, which is quite nice. Now, there's a whole bunch of different bands you can choose from on these watches. I did choose the standard black rubber band with this really interesting design. And as you can see, uh, definitely, definitely custom, as you can see here. Uh, just really cool. Comes with a uh, Marlowe Watch Company um, buckle here. Two safety keepers, both floating. Now, the watch itself is uh, a pretty decent weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It feels nice in the hands. Kind of just melts onto your wrist, considering it's extremely thin. Um, but yeah, I think it fits very nicely on the wrist. I will get your wrist shot towards the end of the video. Anyway, getting into the movement, it's the 9075 produced in Japan by Miyota. It has 24 joules of 42 hour power reserve. It beats at 4 hertz, 28,800 beats per hour. And they're actually pretty accurate. This one running about 5 or 6 seconds fast per day, which is very nice. And I didn't mention this anti-reflective coated uh, crystal here has air coating on the inner and outer portions, uh, allowing for very, very good legibility as you can see there. Now flipping to the case back, very interesting case back on this one. As you can see, they kind of put their own little ring in there, as you can see, uh, covering portion of the movement, which says British Design Marlowe Watch Company. Uh, there you get a glimpse of the 9075 going off there. That's It's a pretty nice looking movement. As you can see, you get a little striping on the main plate. Um, you can see the balance wheel going off there as well. Um, this is a sapphire crystal on the case back as well, held down by four screws. One, two, three, four. As you can see, we do get quick release on this 20 millimeter band as well, making it a strap monster. Although their straps are really, really nice, you're not going to need to change out the band. Um, there's a whole variety of straps on their website to choose from. I believe there's like 15 different bands you can choose from. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, heading to the crown, as you can see here, it is signed with the Marlowe logo. Um, very nicely done. 
nicely brushed on the sides, good grip on this bezel as well, which does go both ways. And everything does line up perfectly. Now to actually function this movement, it's self-winding in the first position, it is already running. Your first position when you pull out will be your independent hour hand, as you can see here. And you can change the date that way. Let me show you this. It's really cool. So you can go to you change the date to the second, you can go back to the first, and it's not going to mess up the movement. Really, really cool. And when you pull up to the final position, you can see here the second hand will stop, and you can set the time or the minute exactly. As you see, that GMT hand will run with it. So you can keep up to three time zones on this watch, which is very, very nice using this bezel as well. You get your home time, your GMT time, and then a third time zone with the bezel, uh, which is very nice. Um, you know, I'm not sure who's going to need three time zones, but, <laughs> you know, just to have it just in case, I assume. Um, more for function over actual, you know, daily use, I'd say. Um, but yeah, I think it came out really nice. The quality is very good as usual. The case finishing, a very slim case there, as you can see, the band's nice. Um, the dial layout is very legible, as it should be for a Traveler's GMT. And uh, yeah, I didn't find any quality control issues or anything like that. But I really want to take a look at the loom, because, um, you know, a GMT should have some pretty good loom. All loomed up with the torch for about 10 seconds, and as you can see, the loom is very evenly applied on those hands, as well as the markers and the 12 o'clock pip and that GMT second hand, so the loom is definitely good. I believe it's BGW9 Swiss Loom, it glows blue. I have a lot of experience with this loom, it's a very good loom. It's a bit better, I'd say, than the C3. Uh, it lasts a bit longer, in my opinion. But yeah, the loom is uh, pretty decent. On my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see, fits perfectly across the wrist. Um, this is, you know, around 47.5 lug to lug. It just fits perfectly and hugs the wrist really nicely. If I were you, I'd go for the rubber band. Uh, the rubber band is extremely comfortable. You know, even though you're not going to be taking this thing in the water, it's only 50 meters water resistant, but this band is just really comfortable. Um, I'd definitely go for this band if you want comfort. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion anyway. As you can see, lug to lug fits very nice. Definitely can slip under a cuff if you wanted it to. Definitely can dress this up on a nice leather band as well. I think it's a very versatile timepiece in my honest opinion. As you can see, it's very legible from all angles, even though we do have a boxed uh, sapphire crystal. But yeah, very comfortable on the wrist and uh, just a pleasure to wear. So I think if you're in the market for a true traveler's GMT, you're a traveler, you like to travel a lot, or you travel for business a lot, you know, it's useful to have a watch like this to keep time zones. Uh, you don't have to constantly add or minus hours. You can just look at your watch and you have the time zone right there. Uh, a very useful watch, very useful complication. And this does have the 9075, uh, which is a bit step up from something like an NH34, which a lot of brands are producing now. Um, but yeah, I didn't find any quality control is issues. The shipping was very fast as usual from the UK. About two or three days by DHL and it arrived at my door. Um, other than that, you know, I think it's pretty good. One minor thing, I think maybe a 22 lug width would look a bit better than a 20, considering the wideness of the case, and then you have the 20 band. Um, that's just my personal preference, um, just nitpicking here. Other than that, it's a great looking watch. I think they put out a great watch, very legible. Everything functions as it should. I've never had a quality control issue with Marlow in my life. I review about four of their pieces, I said in the past, and, uh, yeah, just great watches from a small brand or micro brand based in London. Or, I'm not sure London, but in the United Kingdom. Um, but yeah, good loom. Great box sapphire vintage kind of aesthetic here. I really dig that. And I'm sure a lot of other people really dig that as well. Just a really neat, neat looking watch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Coming out with the Marlow Night GMT. There's also a day version with a kind of turquoise dial. That ever so popular kind of Rolex turquoise. Um, if you want something a little different, so this is the night version with the black dial. But yeah, I will drop a link to them down in the description below, so you can check them out after this video. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Definitely subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. And definitely stay tuned. A lot of interesting content coming up real soon, guys. I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.